Unlocking the meaning, as quiet as a mouse. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English learning journey. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase that you might have heard or read in English, as quiet as a mouse. Understanding such expressions can add flavor to your language skills and help you sound more like a native speaker. So, let's explore what this phrase means, where it comes from, and how you can use it in your everyday English. When someone uses the expression, as quiet as a mouse, they're describing a person or a thing that is being very silent or making very little noise. Mice, the animals, are known for their ability to move around quietly, especially when they are trying to avoid predators. So, when this phrase is applied to a person, it suggests they are moving or doing something quietly, almost in a stealthy manner, not wanting to attract attention. The phrase, as quiet as a mouse, has its roots in history and literature. It's an example of a simile, a figure of speech that compares two different things using the words as or like to highlight similarities. This particular expression has been used for centuries to depict stealthiness or quietness, reflecting the mouse's nature in human language. Its exact origin is hard to pinpoint, but it's deeply embedded in English-speaking cultures, illustrating the long-standing human observation of animal behaviors to describe human actions. Knowing when and how to use idiomatic expressions like as quiet as a mouse can be a game changer in your English communication. Here are a few examples. Describing a person. When he came home late, he was as quiet as a mouse to avoid waking anyone. In a work or school setting. During the exam, the room was as quiet as a mouse. All you could hear was the sound of pencils on paper. Observing a situation. The cat entered the room and suddenly, the playful kittens were as quiet as a mouse. And there you have it, the meaning and use of the phrase, as quiet as a mouse. Isn't it interesting how language can draw on observations from the natural world to describe human behavior? We hope this video has given you insight into this expression and how you can incorporate it into your English. Keep practicing. And don't be afraid to use idiomatic expressions to enrich your conversations. Until next time, keep learning and exploring the beauty of English.